WDSU first warning weather Doppler radar showing something we haven't found in over three weeks, and that's rain today. Some of these clouds looking like something we haven't seen in a long time, too. Let me show you where the rain is at this time. This has been a lot. Not all of us have gotten it. In the North Shore, you hardly got a thing. But South Shore here and there, we really did get some more of the Bayou parishes where we did find it. Right now outside of Thibodeau to Raceland, Lockport's within here too. That's where we found some of that rain and are getting it right now. If I draw a storm track on this, just a little bit northeast at, or north northwest at about 20 miles per hour. I didn't get the entire line within there, but you get the idea here. The movement speed at 20 miles per hour, Convent by about 648, Vashery by about 651. You might get a little bit of a downpour. Some of the river parishes coming into it right now. Let's check out what we got for real time temps. And those real time temperatures still pretty mild and warm by October standards. Almost going in November. We're still at 79 here in town. Bogalusa at 80. But those dew points have jumped to around 70. So we've worked in a little bit higher humidity. Now we do have a chance that we could still find some fog, but the battle here will be the winds. They were up today. I'm sure you noticed it. Southeast 10 to 20. Well, as winds keep that more dense fog from forming, it should. We still could have some areas of fog, but look what's happening. Streaming out ahead of this cold front. Have more rain chances tomorrow. And right when maybe we wanted it to be dry and not for the trick-or-treating to happen, have anything coming down to make it a little wet and soggy. Well, that's when we do have it. There's a look at some of the visibility forecast to note. We could have some patchy fog tomorrow, so I'm still going to monitor that. But right now, no impact days. Don't think it's widespread dense temperatures in the 60s for most of us to get up 75 Grand Isle, 71 Belt Chase in here in town, 74 in the lakefront. Looking at the forecast for rain tomorrow, 20% chance of another isolated shower. Don't think you really need the rain gear here in town. Winds will still be up southeast 10 to 20, so there are coastal, uh, it's going to be small craft advisories. We'll watch to see if they're coastal flood advisory, but small craft right now going through Thursday morning. We look at the temperatures into Thursday here, or Wednesday, and we will get to Thursday in a bit, but we're still into the 80s. And do want to remind you, we still have a burn ban in place here. So be aware, Tangibahoe and Washington parishes, you're still under that burn ban that will continue and to be ongoing, especially with those stronger winds that are here. So just want to note that too. Much of the state as you head towards Shreveport, northern Louisiana, really under that burn ban. Let's walk you through the forecast for the timing of rain here in Halloween on Thursday. Nothing in the morning to get the day going, but by afternoon at 1 o'clock to 4.30, showing the potential some showers, maybe even an isolated storm. I know this looks like a lot of rain, it looks pretty wet, but some of our other forecast data, and I'll show you this one right now. This is a kind of an older computer forecast, but still does pretty well at times. Doesn't have a whole lot here. So I'm still gonna give it a, a better than 50-50 shot of up the rain chances here at about a 60% chance. But the timing here is looking to be 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. So high temperatures before we get the rain and some more clouds, still pretty warm at 84. But there's the 60% a chance of rain from one up until about six. The rain starts to wind down through the heart of the trick-or-treating hours here. So I think it's showers decreasing and maybe a little bit of fog to be forming, but it should stay mild. Let's extend the forecast beyond the holiday. We're going to end things here the rest of the week, go into next week, just how we've left it with maybe an isolated shower. Don't see major systems, don't see major rain chances coming in, but staying warm in the afternoons. Still have this 40% chance of possible development in the Caribbean. I'm not concerned about it. You look at the overall picture from the Central American Gyre Energy. Could be some organizations, systems trying to work their way maybe a little farther west that are here. But really, I'm not seeing that we have a chance for this to give us any impacts at all. I know you see this one coming into the Yucatan Channel, but really that's an outlier forecast from a lot of the data that show if anything. It's just meandering around the Caribbean for a while. WDSU first warning weather seven day. Look at a warm day tomorrow, slim chance of a shower. Halloween rain, one to six likeliest. And then we look for the rain winding down around sunset and thereafter for trick or treating, but still stand warm.